They have admitted they've been Ken Trailing since the mid-90s. They got a Nobel Prize in 92 for it. I'm making a separate film on that. And we always said it's barium salts, it's aluminum dioxide, it's terraforming, but also toxic. They love multifaceted things that do, you know, that cover multiple bases. They love grand slams where they get to carry out multiple evils at the same time and consolidate power. And now they've just come out in USA Today and Associated Press and Reuters. Here it is, Wall Street, Wall Street Journal two weeks ago. It's time to cool the planet with Kim trailing terraforming. And the ingredients they list is exactly what private scientists studied it and said it was. And then they go, oh, yes, that was all just testing. Now we're going to start the real operation. The Earth's 20% darker, and all the climatologists I interview say that looking at what they're spraying is actually heating the Earth. So are they trying to cause more? I mean, we know they have weather weapons. I broke the, you know, the father of weather weapons, Ben Livingston, here on air, what they were doing with it 50 years ago. Could, they could control hurricanes in the late 60s, Stanford Research Institute certified. But are they planning to engineer cal bigger calamities and droughts and then say, oh, yeah. oh see, yeah. we've got to save you? But then but then cover it saying they're trying to fix it? Because That's we've exposed right. the chemtrails, exactly. now they've got to admit it. Go ahead. Yeah, in the 1970s, I think 78, all the major countries, United States, Britain, and Canada, and so on, all signed an international agreement, a treaty at the United Nations on weather warfare. And people can go into it and check it out for themselves. In there, it tells you what they could do then. They could create earthquakes, droughts, floods, famines, and so on, all just with the heart technology and the spraying alone in conjunction. And Secretary of Defense Cohen, 1997, April 27th issue of Army Times, said the exact same thing. In fact, people don't believe it. Uh, type. Secretary of Defense William Cohen, uh, Army Times weather weapons or 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 secretary of defense william cohen army times earthquakes that'll pull it up too go ahead alan and, and so what they can do so simply now because this old technology is well tried and tested and they have given droughts over the years to farming areas they put uh, lots of farmers out in canada and the states either with droughts or floods all at the same time we always had the same flood in the bread basket of canada as you were having in the bread basket of the u.s and we're, we're getting droughts at the same time so this is coordinated to bring down the food supply. But uh, they will convince the public with, with, with odd acts of weather warfare that we are as nature rebelling. That's what they'll tell us all. They won't tell. They, they can stand there and whistle in the wind and pretend they've got nothing to do with it because, because they'll never admit they're actually using it to terrify the public. And then the public will be more compliant and give up even more rights and allow themselves to be guided. And well, it's just like the New World Order. All these decades, we had their documents, their statements, their videos, their books. We look, they're saying it, and the public would say, that's fake video of David Rockefeller. The Rothschild family doesn't exist. I remember hearing that 15 years ago, that they didn't exist, that the CFR didn't exist. Now they say, oh, it exists. We need a world government uh, to, to uh, keep us safe. Uh, and it's the same thing now. There's no chemtrails. They're not manipulating the weather. Trails have always hung there for hours at 2,000 feet. Uh, no. Uh, and then now they go, oh, we're spraying you. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and as they say it, too, they'll t they tell us that it could have drastic consequences if they were to go ahead and spray, meaning, meaning on human health. That's why when they started at 98, they couldn't tell the public what they were doing. They already know the catastrophic effects it's had on people's health with asthma. People at 40, 50 get diagnosed with asthma. People dying of bronchial diseases, they just can't get rid of the cough. Uh, they understand, they have, they have the pulse on the people all the time. They have all the data coming in from hospitals all the time, daily. And they know the effects it's been having and, and what it's doing to the people. You know. Yeah, here is... Uh FAS.org, news.usa. You can also go to the Army website. And here he is. You, you, you guys just had it on screen with a control F. Uh, you can read it right there where he talks about. He says, uh, he quotes Alvin and Heidi Toffler has written about this in terms of some scientists in their laboratories trying to devise certain types of pathogens that would be ethnic specific so they would just eliminate certain ethnic groups and races. And others are designing some sort of engineering, some sort of insects that can destroy specific crops. Others are engaging even in ecotype of terrorism, whereby they can alter the climate, shut off earthquakes, volcanoes remotely, the use of electromagnetic waves. That's the Army Times in April 
of uh, 1997. You can go to the top and show, folks. But but the issue here is that they now in September 20th, 2000, Rebuilding America's Defense is written by Dick Cheney. He says we need to prepare the public with the media to accept race-specific bio weapons mm -hmm. and that it's good. And even the Austin American Statesman wrote an article saying, you know, is Dick Cheney right? Should we kill certain races? So if you call somebody a racial term, the media cries, you get arrested. Oh, we love you so much, black people. But then it's like, should we kill all the blacks? You know, it's loving. Oprah's at the meeting. I mean, see, so it's like, oh, I'm a liberal. I'm Margaret Sanger. You're subhuman. I only want to kill you for the earth. You know I love you. I'm sorry we have to kill you. Don't be racist. Again, if you're against the world order, you're racist. You're against killing everyone. You're racist.